This is WGN Television Chicago, serving Channel 9 viewers 24 hours a day. This is the Georgie, named for the legendary George M. Cohan, the only entertainer to ever receive the Congressional Medal of Honor. Tonight, this most coveted award will be presented to the world's top stars as AGVA, the American Guild of Variety Artists, presents... The 11th Annual Entertainer of the Year Awards. Tonight's 11th Annual American Guild of Variety Artist Awards are brought to you by GE. At GE, we bring good things to life. And by A Touch of Class, a dazzling new fragrance by Fabergé. It's the 11th Annual Entertainer of the Year Awards. Starring Abba, Alan Alda, George Benson, Boomer, David Brenner, Carol Burnett, David Copperfield, Rodney Dangerfield, Sammy Davis Jr., Gallagher, Robert Klein, Chris Primo, Audrey and Judy Landers, The Steve Merritt Dance Company, Ann Miller, Liza Minnelli, Anthony Newley, The Oak Ridge Boys, Tony Orlando, Dolly Parton, Luciano Pavarotti, Pudgy, The Rockettes, Mickey Rooney, Tanya Tucker, George Wallace, Dion Warwick, the Playmate of the Year, Terry Wells. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the evening, Mike Douglas. Good evening. Good evening and welcome. And it's really a pleasure for me to host the American Guild of Variety Artist Awards. You know, variety roots are in live entertainment, concerts, circus, vaudeville, and cabarets. And I've always had a profound admiration for variety performers. There is no shortcut to success. There are do's and there are don'ts. And if you don't pay your dues, you don't. But tonight, the Georgies go to the very best in all fields of entertainment. A variety show just loaded with variety. We have something for everybody. If you like country, we've got the Elk Ridge Boys. If you prefer comedy, Rodney Dangerfield, David Brenner, Gallagher, George Wallace, and Robert Klein. And of course, there's Dolly Parton for you deep thinkers. <laughs> the Entertainer of the Year Awards are the only awards where performers vote for their fellow performers. Very prestigious award indeed. It's a it's a special celebration. We're sorry we're having technical difficulties. We'll continue with our program as, as soon as we are able, so please stand by. He's in all of those categories. He's currently starring in the movie Four Seasons, which he also wrote and directed. He's definitely an underachiever. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Alda. <laughs> You've directed yourself many times, but I've wondered what happens when Alan Alda, the director, asks Alan Alda, the actor, 
to do something he doesn't want. I don't listen. <laughs> well, you're here tonight to present the award for the Female Comedy Star of the Year. Yes, and this is a very special pleasure for me. This woman has kept us laughing for a long time now, and so much so that this is the seventh time that she has been named the Female Comedy Star of the Year. But something special about this woman is that although she's kept us laughing all that time, we've only just recently realized what a woman of courage and principle that she is. As a matter of fact, the only people who aren't laughing at her lately are the lawyers for the uh, National Enquirer. She's a woman who I know is the female comedy star of the year because I acted with her and I directed her in the four seasons and you have, it, on that basis alone, made the right choice this year. I'm very, very proud to be able to say the words, Carol Burnett. <laughs> that Alan was going to present this to me until a few minutes ago when uh, when I just got here and the fact that he came all the way out here to do this uh, just uh, makes me love him anymore if that's possible uh, I want to thank you so much and, and your family for being here and gee thanks too I'm in a hit <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> I, I don't know about uh, how funny I am but I certainly do know how grateful I am thank you all so very much <laughs> Stay tuned for more with Gallagher, David Copperfield, and the newest ladies from BJ and the Bear and Dallas. We bring new friends to play. Hi. Show how much you care. Oh, guys, you should laugh. Gee, we bring good things. We bring good things to life. We bring you closer, closer to the ones you love. Plus a touch of class. All that chic makes her unique. Plus a touch of class. Add a dash of pure panache. Plus a touch of class. Got to be the total chic. Plus a touch of class. A touch of class. A dazzling new fragrance by Fabergé. Now, through July 18th, you can buy Chevy Citations at less than Citation prices. Chevrolet Division is giving us extra money on every Citation we sell. That means that now through July 18th, we can sell Citations at less than Citation prices. Now, drive America's best-selling front-wheel drive X-Car for less than you ever thought. In fact, less than Citation prices. Now through July 18th, at your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. The first marathon, 26 miles, 385 yards. It took incredible endurance, incredible spirit. We at Marathon Oil remember that spirit, the spirit that constantly pushes our company further to pursue excellence in everything that carries our name. Marathon Oil, the spirit to excel, to go farther. Marathon, the long distance gasoline. When Jack Benny won the Golden Award in 1971, he said to Ed Sullivan, after the show, he said, I, I, I don't deserve this award. On the other hand, I have arthritis, and I don't deserve that either. <laughs> what can I tell you about our next... Well, well, what I can tell you about our next guest is that uh, he calls himself the Wizard of Odd, and nobody has challenged it. The only comic to ever kill a watermelon and plead self-defense. He's definitely not normal, so watch him at your own risk. Ladies and gentlemen, Gallagher. Thank you. Ladies and 
Ladies and gentlemen, you must have a gimmick. So I'm here today to discuss gimmicks in the party mood. Aren't we in a party mood, gang? Yeah. All right, what kind of a gimmick can you have these days? It doesn't necessarily just have to be a little hat trick here. That could be something kind of in, you know, this is going around. It could be some kind of a kind of that urban cowboy thing. You know what I'm talking about. This is like riding in the back of a pickup truck. There ain't no way to do it and look cool. <laughs> but there are other kinds of gimmicks. You can try and be practical with your gimmicks and clean up a little bit. Here, you see, you can never find one when you need the other one. All right. You can uh, try and do some good in this world. Here's what you wear to a cocktail party with a lot of smokers. It's a good gimmick. You just, uh, <laughs> and they come up huffing and puffing. It just goes off. You say, need I say more? <laughs> See, smoking would be okay if when you sucked it in, you kept it in. But you don't. You blow it out into the air we all share and infringe.